Hey guys, it's Tristan with That One Channel. I am on vacation. This video is a week later from the one that I shot. Um, the video that you're going to see is from me when I'm at the Queen Creek Tunnel. Um, and I shot down and I went down in that canyon to look for a bunch of mining equipment as well as some other abandoned cars. Now, I just want to let you know that for some reason the intro, when I uploaded the video and edited it, it's not there. And it's not in my phone or anything. So I think it got corrupt, which I don't understand. Um, makes no logical sense. But I'm not going to bore you with my terrible looking face. Let's get down in the canyon where the next part of the video is. And let's see what we can find. I found two cars, a water truck, and I actually found a third car that I didn't even know existed down there. But um, I'm a little scared to get there because there's a bunch of bees there. And I got just stung to crap last time I was there. So I couldn't get to it. But I'm going to try to get to it from a different location. Anyways, here's the video, and I hope you like it. Peace. Okay, guys, when I explained about the trestle that came down through the canyon and all the mining equipment and such would come down this trestle, this is basically what's left of that trestle. I mean, there's not much. You're probably looking at this through the video being like, it looks like a pile of wood to me. But you can see like the square pieces. And there used to be tracks. Um, I think I showed in the video prior to the tracks in the canyon. But yeah, this is basically what's left of it. Over the years, I heard in the 70s there was a flood that came through here and it just annihilated everything but what we're here to see is over here that is what excites people that watch my videos that old car that crashed off the hill no that vehicle came from way up there i mean you're yep, still going right up there there's no guardrail which i don't understand like why there's no guardrail but yeah Let's get down and take a peek at what kind of car this is. Interesting. Looks like it may have been a convertible, maybe? I know you guys are good with your trims. Boy, this thing is stripped as well. Now, for you guys that don't know, right up there, if you watch my old channel, right up there last year, there's an old water truck that crashed off here in the 50s. And I tried to get up to it, and I literally just got verbally assaulted by just, well, I don't know, verbally, I guess that means they'd be speaking to me, but assaulted by Africanized bees. And they are down here. And that's one thing I can't express enough to people in Arizona. That's why a lot of times I do not film in the summertime here because there's so many of them. And I mean, you could, you will literally die. I mean, they will chase you a quarter mile down the road. Man, that sun is just killing everything. I think it was supposed to be cloudy today too. That's why I'll try to get up here as soon as possible. But for a lot of people don't know, it takes me like an hour and a half to get to here. So it's not like I just get in my car and drive here. Hmm, there's some more shocks. I know there's pieces to the front of the car over there. Maybe that will give us a better analyzation of what this is. The dead giveaway is usually a trunk. God, when I was here two years ago, that was there. Looks like an old dish strainer. I can't see the screen, so I'm just hoping it's picking up something good. This sun is just brutal right now. That should be a dead giveaway. That tail light. So I can get my head down there and get a peek into the trunk. It's just burst on the tail light. There's pieces of front, maybe that'll give it away. Dang, there's like nothing. 
and left of this car. There's the door. So I can't get closer, guys. There's a plant and all sorts of stuff. That trim should give it away. To me, it looks like a piece of metal, but that's pretty cool. There's a little piece of chrome right there. If I can get to it. I wish I could get to that, that truck around the corner, but I'm too scared. Like, literally, I almost got just annihilated by those freaking bees. Yeah, let's see what we can get else we can find. Hey, guys, we made it to one of the other main artifacts. This is how beautiful it is right here. What we are here for is this. This is one of the original mine carts to that mine. And it's still technically fully intact. From what my knowledge is, this mine cart, there used to be about 14 of them down here in the canyon, and there's only three left because people have stolen them. So, let's get around the other side and check it out. But this is cool. I mean, you can see like the old square bolts. Cool, you can see the old pins are still there. Here's what would have held the metal. That's the base around the cart. It's crazy, it's actually upstream last year when I hiked up here. I found where someone dumped a bunch of stolen catalytic converters. It's crazy to think that how sturdy and tough this thing is and just how beat up it is. So there is a lot of artifacts back here in this stuff. The issue is there's um, right about here and over here is an Africanized bee's nest. I mean, even being this close can literally provoke them. Now it's cold outside, but that doesn't mean that they won't come out and attack you. I should be able to see what we're looking for a little better. And yeah, where we were just filming was over here. And the top of the hill where my car is, is way up there. Yeah. We'll get over here, won't we'll bore you with the details. See if I can get anything. If not, then um, I'll just shoot a video on the way out.